Welcome to this rocket launcher video. We will show you how to build an air-powered bottle rocket launcher that fires soda bottles several hundred feet into the air. The simple hold down launch mechanism makes the launcher easy to build and use. The rocket launcher frame uses half inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe and fittings for the air chamber plumbing. It is configured so that it will be able to hold the rocket upright while the rocket is being launched. Six inch pieces of pipe were used for the longer connections and two inch pieces of pipe for the shorter connections. The launcher must be airtight at all connections and ends except for the launch tube that the bottle rocket sits on. Make sure that all pipe connections are glued together using PVC cement and that there is a cap on all ends except for the launch tube. The rocket hold down launch mechanism uses one and one quarter inch fittings. I will put a complete parts list in the comments below. A tubeless tire valve is used to charge the system with compressed air from a bicycle pump. We used a .453 inch rim hole tire valve that we purchased at an auto parts store. We started with a small drill bit pilot hole to center the hole and then used a 9 16 inch bit to make the hole larger. A knife is used to clean off the burrs so the tire valve will sit cleanly. The valve is pulled from the inside of the cap through the drilled hole until the seat pops through to the top of the cap. The launch mechanism is built using three PVC fittings and a 1 8 inch diameter steel rod. Holes are drilled into the bushing to allow the steel rod to sit over the lip near the top of the bottle. This holds the rocket in place while it is being charged and allows easy launching by its removal. The steel rod must pass by the neck of the bottle when the top of the bottle is inserted into the 1 and 1 quarter inch by 1 inch bushing. The bottle top is set into the bushing to determine the launch pin locations. The lip of the bottle must sit at least a quarter inch below the top of the bushing so that there is enough PVC to hold the launch pin when the bottle is pressurized. A marker is used to mark the steel rod locations on the bushing. The lines are double checked before the holes are drilled. A 3 32nd inch drill bit is used to start the holes, and then it is made larger using a 5 32nd drill bit. The holes are drilled through both sides of the bushing, making four holes total. After the holes were drilled, I used a knife to clean the PVC burrs off the inside and outside of the bushing. The holes are tested to make sure they are free of burrs by inserting the 1 8 inch wire. To make the launch pin, a piece of 1 8 inch steel rod is cut to 10 inches long. The rod is bent at its middle point to form a U shape so that the two ends are approximately 1 and 1 quarter inch apart. The rod is test fitted into the holes on the bushing with the bottle inserted into it. The next step is to prepare the second bushing so that the one half inch pipe can pass through it and into the bottle. I modified the one and one quarter by half inch bushing by removing the stopper that typically stops a one half inch pipe from sliding all the way through the bushing. The lip was removed using a sharp knife blade. A Dremel tool is also a good way to remove the lip. The launch mechanism is assembled by gluing the bushings, coupling, and the one half inch pipe together. A piece of half inch pipe is cut to 12 inches long. A mark is made two inches from one of the ends, and the one and one quarter by half inch bushing that the stopper was removed from is glued to the pipe with the top edge in line with the two inch mark. It should be oriented so that the one and one quarter inch bushing end is pointing toward the long end of the half inch pipe. 
glue a half inch elbow onto the half inch stub sticking out below the bushing. The one and one quarter inch coupling is glued onto the bushing that is glued onto the 12 inch pipe. And then the bushing with the launch pin holes in it is glued to the coupling. The holes for the launch pins are left accessible above the lip of the coupling so the locking pin can be inserted. I assembled the launcher frame after assembling the launch mechanism, but it can be put together at any time. Once the launch mechanism is attached to the launcher frame, it is ready to fire a rocket. The bottle is filled one third of the way with water and then put over the half inch pipe launch tube and seated down into the launch mechanism. The launch pin is inserted so it holds the bottle onto the launch mechanism. A bicycle tire pump is used to pressurize the system. I have launched rockets using 40 to 70 pounds of pressure. The pipe says it is 80 psi, but it is also not intended to be used for air pressure. After the system is pressurized, I make sure the rocket is pointing in a safe direction, and with all body parts out of the way, the pin is pulled. Bottles can be fired without fins, but they will tend to fly erratically. Check out our other video showing how to build a bottle rocket. Check out some of our other how-to videos by clicking on one of these links. Thanks for watching.